Hello, this is 3DX and today I'm going to be creating a new uh, material. So I have a new material for you in this video, which is a stylized wood material, uh, essentially a uh, pattern wood where you essentially can connect two different angled uh, wood boards. And that's pretty much what we're going to be creating with this one. And so first I'm going to start out by using a tile sampler and offsetting the wood boards and then blending those together. And I'm going to use a blur to kind of give it like a bevel instead of using a bevel node. In this case, I decided to use tab just to um, give it a bevel look while also keeping the uh, kind of like the gradient uh, look that the boards have. So this one's going to be relatively simple. We're going to be using a few nodes, not too many. I'm going to use the flop fill to get the um, random gradient on the boards. This is just so that some of the uh, wood boards kind of uh, come out a little bit more than others, but I don't want to exaggerate it too much. So I'm blending that with the original wood boards that we got from the tile sampler and that just so that we can reduce the intensity of that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a, a noise uh, along with the warp so that we can get kind of like the, the wood fibers that go on the boards. And like I said, I want to keep this simple, so I'm just going to use that. And I'm going to combine that with a flop fill mapper. And this is just to give it a little bit of the angle that we need and as well to make it so that the uh, wood fibers are not uniform across all the pieces this is really helps in just adding a little bit of variation to that and so first i'm going to focus on the middle boards which are going um, in one direction and then the other ones as well and what i'm going to do is i'm going to mask that And then I'm going to duplicate the other one and then just kind of rotate uh, by 45 degrees the other way since the other boards are essentially rotated the other way. And then here what I'm going to do is I'm going to combine these two so that we have the wood fibers going in the directions that they should be. And then I'm just going to use distance node just to get rid of the uh, lines in the middle. And then I'm just going to blend these two with the original wood boards. This way we get something uh, that looks kind of like wood fibers and I'm pretty much just playing with some of the uh, blended modes just to see which one looks better and then I'm going to get the uh, color map just by using a curvature smooth and a gradient along with it and then from here I'm going to get pretty much the colors that I'm looking to get from this and it's good to just experiment with this node just to see which colors work best I'm also going to reduce the roughness a little bit just so that uh, we can see a little bit better the colors on the actual 3d preview And here I'm pretty much just kind of testing just to see uh, what looks better essentially. Sometimes it's just a matter of uh, just kind of testing with the colors and uh, trying to add a little bit of variation to it. And here I'm just going to experiment with the uh, just kind of combining the wood fibers with the original color just to see what I get here. Like I said, sometimes uh, with Substance Designer, it's just a matter of testing a few of the notes just to see what results you get. And uh, because you can use notes in different ways and to achieve just different results.
Sometimes that's one thing I do too is I copy the normal map and just increase the intensity just to see if uh, I get better uh, resolution out of the uh, out of the uh, gradient map. But in this case, I just decided to undo that. And now I'm going to use a levels here along with a different gradient color just to see what it looks like if we combine two different colors. You could use something like this for like maybe uh, making some of the boards uh, look like they have been painted or something like that. But in this case I was just using it to add just slightly a little bit more color variation across some of the uh, different boards here. You could also use the same technique to add um, like dirt, stuff like that, or sand, or you know, just anything that goes in, uh, in between the crevices. And then I'm going to use a tile sample just to see what it looks like if we essentially just tile this a little bit more. So it's good to check. Um, what your material is going to look like if it tiles a lot. Uh, this is just a way to look at uh, seeing if it's going to look too repetitive and uh, you know you can kind of preview that here in Substance uh, Designer by just using a tile sampler. I also used a multi-switch here just to see just to have a few different variants that I can switch between uh, for previewing purposes or you could also just export it like this as well. So one thing I'm doing here is I just want to make sure that my color map just doesn't look too noisy, um, which is uh, uh, starting to look like a bit noisy at the moment. So I'm just kind of unifying it a little bit. And then one more thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use a slope blur just to add a little bit of damage to the edge of some of these boards. But I don't, I don't really want to overdo it, so I'm just going to add it um, and combine these two with the original. It's just a small detail, but I think it kind of helps as well. But that's pretty much it for this material. So here is the final result in Marmoset 2 back. So if you want to see more videos like this one, make sure you sub to the channel and check the playlist uh, for Substance Designer that's in my channel. So if you like the video, make sure you hit the like button and I'll hopefully see you in a future video. Do you want to learn how to use Substance Designer to create interesting materials which you can use to apply to things like environments or props? Well, in this Intro to Substance Designer tutorial, Anthony Carmona will walk you through the process on how to get started in making materials in Substance Designer. Click on the link below now to start learning how this is done. Anthony will start you off by explaining the theory behind physically based rendering and from there he will show you the ropes to get started with the most useful notes found within Substance Designer. This is a perfect tutorial for anyone who is new to Substance and would like to learn how to get started. This tutorial also includes a bonus lesson where Anthony will show you how to present a material through lighting and rendering using Marmoset Toolbag. Hey, so this is a very short video ad, so there's not enough time to cover everything. Click on the link in the description now to get started.